Hi, this is a subarctic beekeeper. My name is El Hay. I am somewhere north of Fairbanks, Alaska, and I am doing hive inspections today. It is May 5th, I think, or 6th, something like that. Very interesting thing. In one of my hives, I have found both a queen cup that is opened and a full queen cell. So these bees are communicating. The colony as a solid organism is communicating to me. Knowing what kind of things are happening when you have these kind of cells is good. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a split. I'm gonna use that unhatched queen cell and I put her into a small nuke hive with some of her nurse bees. And when she hatches, uh, there might be some drone around by that time. I'll have another colony. I'm curious as to why these bees have made another queen. So I'm gonna go through frame by frame. Oh, and I see some brood and some pollen. Gorgeous, gorgeous, right off the bat. So the queen that's in there is doing fine. She's laying, and I'm not on the far right side of the hive. Usually the brood nest is in the center. So I'm expecting I'm gonna see a whole lot of brood in, or on more frames going towards the center. This is an old world carniolian queen, and I got more brood. I've got more brood. Yippee-yay-yay. So, oh, and I see the queen. I see the queen. She's adorable. She's a beauty. She's a little one. It's very interesting. So I've got a great queen who's laying in a colony who's made an additional queen. This hive is doing really well. Bees are very active. They're interacting with each other. Lots of communication going on. And bees communicate through many, many different ways through their antenna, through their mouths, through the body movements, through how they move their backside, how they move their wings, their posture, their waggle dance. I'm seeing frames full of pollen, fresh pollen coming in. I'm seeing frames that still have stores from last year on here. It's okay. I'm seeing bees coming into the hive, bringing in the bright yellow stuff that's out right now. Looking to see if there is, I saw the cat brood. I wanna see if there's any larva in here. And I'm gonna need one of these frames for the split. So I've just found one. It's full of stores. And I'm gonna brush those bees off that frame. Can you hear them? They're not happy. I don't know if they're unhappy. Uh, probably, that yeah, probably hear something. We brush these, these off of this frame, brushing them right into the hive, uh, their hive of origin. And after they flip me off, press me out a little, let me know that I'm not the boss, they uh, go back into their hive. So in my new hive, I have a frame with a queen cell. And I have a frame with brood. I've also got some nurse bees in there. And I've got a frame of stores left over from last year, so they've got food right now. On this new hive, uh, instead of leaving the entrance wide open, what I did is I put a little mesh sheet in front of the opening so that way the bees can't leave. They can breathe and they can get water and food because I've got a great top feeder, but they can't take off. And I don't want them to take off because I want them to establish that colony. I'm looking at more bees on frames. I'm gonna stick an empty frame in here because these bees are working hard. I'd like them to produce some new drawn comb for me. I'm 
keeping the queen that's in here. I'm keeping her with her brood frames, making sure I don't separate her from the nest because that's where it's warmest in the hive and the queen bee needs to be about 97 degrees Fahrenheit to be doing her thing. Her thing, her thing. I see lots of larvae, lots of eggs. This queen's kicking butt. She may be little, but she is mighty. And I've got an extra queen cell. My lucky day. I'm taking that new frame that has nothing on it other than a little bit of wax. I'm going to actually give a little spray with my a little sugar water on it. Let the bees know it's a happy thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got nine frames in here. They've still got some pollen patty they haven't eaten. I knew this frame was this um, hive was active. Because they're always out in front. And I almost thought they were being robbed, but it wasn't robbery at all. It was just them coming and going. Bringing in that yellow pollen, making that bee bread to feed those young bees. So I would think next week, all of my hives should have more bees in them. I've got another frame that is full of stores. We call it sugar locked, which means all the cells are full. There's nowhere for the queen to lay. But that's okay. Because if we get some cold weather, and we might, because we usually do, uh, the bees will stay in their hive. They won't forage. This way they've got food already inside their hive for them. So I'm going to move all the frames back close together, maintaining that bee space. And this frame, or this hive, needs another frame. If I'm going to have 10 frames. If I don't add another frame, I've got this extra space and the bees will fill it up with comb. So I'm looking through my box of extra frames here. This, there's one that has some stores on it. It's nice and clean. No dysentery, no gunk. And I'm going to found one. I'm going to stick it right into the edge. It'll be the farthest right frame. And I'm going to slide it right in there if it wants to go. Okay. All right. So I'm going to close this hive up, fill up the sugar water, and let them get back to business. I'm super excited about this split. I don't know. I've never been able to make a new hive this early in the season. I'll have to do some research, find out why they would make another queen when the colony isn't so big that it's about to swarm. That would be one reason. Or that the queen wasn't doing her job. That would be another reason. But she is doing her job just fine. Sometimes it'll be because she's not emitting enough of her pheromone. The pheromones weak, so they create another queen. Uh, my only thing with this queen is that there's no brood out there yet, which means there's no boy bees. And that queen, in order to mate and lay eggs, is going to need to meet some fellas. Let's see what happens with that. I'm looking forward to it. Alright. All right, I've got some some bees that have taken the dive into the syrup top feeder that I'm getting out right now. You never know who the rock stars are, right? So I try to get them all out. Get out, guy. Gal. All right, they're all girl. They're all females. All the workers are females. There. Okay. Well, I'm too excited to continue, so I'm going to sign off. This has been a subarctic beekeeper, one of the many, somewhere north of Fairbanks, Alaska, and my name is Al Hay. Everything is copyrighted, all rights reserved, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.